Hi everyone, I'm making a quick pizza for tea tonight so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, I'll just go through the ingredients. Uh, just a ready-made pizza dough. I can't be bothered making my own. It's so easy just to roll that one out. Some pizza sauce. I roasted some pumpkin the other night so I kept some for the pizza. Just fried off quickly a few mushrooms. Chopped up some zucchini and tomato, fresh tomato. Got a bit of baby spinach, eggplant, kalamata olives chopped up, capsicum, red capsicum chopped up, and sun dried tomatoes. And I know you meant to use mozzarella, but this is all I had in the freezer, so I just got a three cheese blend, which should be better than no cheese at all. And I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, I'm about to roll out the dough, but I forgot to tell you this is one kilo of the pizza dough, which is way too much for um, a big tin or a big pizza pan that size. That's a big one. Um, I'll give you the dimensions um, later. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll probably take one third of the dough, put it in a smaller pizza pan and throw some apples and drizzle honey over it and make um, a nice dessert. So I'll put that aside and start rolling out the dough. Oh, before I do that, I'll spray the pan so it doesn't stick. Unless you have a long stick one, I'll just give it a light spray. That'll make it go a bit more crunchy too. Put that aside. Take my rings off, I've already washed my hands. for now. All I do is roll this out and um, put it in the pizza pan. And uh, just uh, top, put the toppings, whatever you want to put on there, and just let it sit on the stove top for about the cold stove top for about half hour, three quarters of an hour, and just let it rise a bit. Just um, stretching it out a bit, it likes to shrink back. Stay. Stay. Doesn't want to stay. <laughs> right. The last time I made the pizza I used the whole kilo of the dough for that one big pan and it was way too thick for me. round but I'll stretch it round to the shape once it's on the pen. So 
what you do. Very elastic so you can just push it over. Now that's ready for the sauce. Okay, I forgot to tell you to preheat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius or 428 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're just ready to put the sauce on. So I'll use probably about one and a half of these, they're 140 grams I think. Yeah, 140 grams so. about half left so about 200 grams you can put more on if you want but I don't want to overload it with the tomato sauce I'm still putting sun-dried tomatoes and fresh tomatoes over it so you can really put anything you want on the pizza I mean this is going to almost be vegetarian, I forgot to tell you also that I found some um, pepperoni in the freezer so I'll be using that as well but that's about the only meat on there. I think I'll put the spinach down first, no I'll put the cheese down, I like the cheese on the bottom of mine, I don't like the burnt cheese on the top, but that's just a personal thing. I'd rather any meat and mushrooms or other toppings go crunchy. I've just rinsed the baby spinach, so I'll break that off a bit and put that down the bottom. The reason I'm putting the spinach down the bottom is because I don't like them shriveling up too much and turning brown. This way they'll keep moist. I think that's about it. Spread it out as much as you can. I was going to need that to spread the sauce with. I roast this, so it's easy to. It will cook. Otherwise, it won't cook through. But it's easy to squash, and spread out. Mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Again, use any top you want. And what next? It's an eggplant. I think I'll break these up. I should have chopped them up a bit more, but it doesn't matter. These were bought in a jar, char grilled. You could do your own. I just had it in the fridge so I thought I'd use it up. That's a good thing about pizza, you can just use whatever you have. Make sure you put the filling right on the edges as well. Okay, and this 
zucchini. This doesn't have to be pre-cooked. Zucchini cooks really quickly, so there'll be no problems there. on in any order you want as well, it doesn't really matter, it's just a personal choice thing. Bit of sun-dried tomato, which again I bought in a jar. I haven't tried sun drying my own tomatoes. I have to try and do that one day. Okay. And what have we got left? Fresh tomatoes chopped, just one. Some sliced Kalamata olives. And lastly, some pepperoni. Hopefully I have enough for, for this. I think just just a bit of meat there. Now that's it. This my pan. Put it in the oven and see while that's cooking I'll make up the dessert pizza. I'll let you know at the end how long Talk to cook this. I'll put it on for a half an hour to start with. Oh no, twenty minutes. Not half hour. And there we go. And we'll start on the apple pizza. Okay, while I've got the pizza cooking, I've um, chopped up my apples, sliced them up. I've put them in water to stop them going brown, but now I'm ready to put them straight on the dough. So I'll just go and drain those and put them in a separate bowl. There we go. I'm not being particularly neat or anything, I'm just putting them on quickly. It'll be eaten quick enough. I think I used about eight apples, maybe nine. I lost count, so probably made too many but that's all right you can use the rest of the apples in porridge or something in the morning so that's the apple put on there and now i'm just going to drizzle a bit of honey 
I haven't made it like this before so I don't know what it'll turn out like but I'm sure it'll be nice. That's what I need is one of those wooden honey spoons. Those spiral things would come in handy now. I guess you could sprinkle sugar on them or a bit of icing sugar but I don't know I think honey will be nice. Let's get the edge as well. You can serve it up with maybe a bit of cream or ice cream or just to eat it on its own. Now what else can we do? Might put a bit of cinnamon on there maybe. Just to give it a bit more flavour. Actually I think I'll use my fingers because I'll end up putting too much on another one. For another 10 minutes while the pizza's cooking then I'll put that one in the oven. Ah there it goes now. Okay it's been 20 minutes on 220 degrees which is 428 degrees Fahrenheit and let's just check and that still got I think it will, I'll put it to 240 degrees Celsius, which is 464 degrees Fahrenheit. Give it a spin around, so it tends to heat more at the back. And I'll give that another 10 minutes. Then should be done. Uh, ten. Okay, it's been an extra ten minutes, and that looks to me like it's done. So that one there. And the next one goes in. Put it back. I'll put it on 15 minutes and I'll put it back down to 220. And just keep an eye on it. Might only need 10 minutes, but yep. really nice look at that crunch okay I think at this stage I better before I keep cutting I'll take a picture it anyway. Okay, it's been 15 so I think I'll just give it another five. Just to make sure it's crispy enough on the bottom. Okay, here's the pizza after 20 minutes. 
And that looks nicely done. Nice and crisp underneath. Hopefully it'll taste nice. 